much for taking the time. I'm Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color, and I'm such a huge fan of yours. Oh, please. I'm a fan of yours. Thanks for having me. Of course. Oh, my gosh. I, I was so excited to see you in this series. And ah! I, I binged it in like a night. It's so addicting. Huge congrats. Well, thank you. And I'm jealous because I haven't seen a second of it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be interviewing God. you today. Okay. Listen, listen, my pleasure. My pleasure. Oh my gosh. When are you seeing it? Um, I don't know. I oh, I'm one of those actors that doesn't ask questions. No good. It's going to be worth the oh, wait. I'm telling you, that, I'm going to rewatch it with my family too. Cause they're into the genre and they're all really excited about it. So I'm like, I'll just binge it again. It's fine. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I'll probably oh, yeah. watch it a few times. Um, yeah, it's, addicting <laughs> what an interesting genre right oh my god so I'll it's start its there own genre. that was literally the question I had is <laughs> the genre just literally mixed everything I love from the dark comedy to the psychological thriller and the murder mystery like you can't get better than that for a fan so I want to ask you what it was like as an actress to mix all that well, I feel like it's a genre I've never seen. Yeah. But I mean, Michael, um, our director is the tone king. So when I saw he was, because I didn't have a script for the audition. Oh, really? Two pages, oh. uh, just two pages of a character uh, and a very short description. Um, but I know, I know Michael's work, yeah. so, you know, Heather's obviously being the biggest one, but, or my favorite. Um, so I just, it was one of those things where that's kind of all I needed to know. Yeah. That he was he was attached and that kind of gave me um the 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 initial like intuition of what to do with the character. And then meeting Rachel, Hugh, and Larry and Kristen, holy shit. I mean, their minds are insanely talented and funny and it, this was like a dream come true, like just so my type of humor. And it's just really fun to be in it, you know, to be able to be a part of something that I can't wait to watch. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You led me into my next question because I'm actually, first of all, I'm letting you talk spoilers because we're going to release this after because there's so many. Oh, oh yeah, like go crazy. I was, full I was wondering how we were going to oh, do yeah. this because I can't tell you shit. Like, I know. Listen, okay, cool. I got you. I'm freeing you. Okay. I'm not going to do that to you. We'll release it after. Plus, of all, okay. plus it's more fun for me because holy shit, your role. Like, it's amazing. Well, I didn't even know that I was playing two different people when mm -hmm. I when I got the call, yeah, I thought I was just playing Lisa, yeah. which was enough for me. And then there's this whole other, and I'm like, what is it? Honestly, this show for me was like the gift that just kept on giving. Mm -hmm. And then working with Kristen, like a literal yeah. fairy princess. I mean, she's, she like, every time I saw her, there was just another thing I admired about her. She's She's a very well-rounded person and talent. And she was just, my favorite was like exploring my character in scenes with her. We, yeah. we definitely, we definitely um, played into the like girl, girl cat fighting, but like with a smile. <laughs> but like passive aggressive, <laughs> but like. So passive, I have never been so passive aggressive in my life. And cause I'm very honest in real life. Like I, I can't function in, in any other way other than just to be yeah. as honest as I possibly can sometimes too honest, um, and revealing. Uh, but that's what was fun about Lisa and, oh my God, I'm forgetting my other character's name. <laughs> City. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Cassidy. Oh yeah. my goodness. Wow. It has been a minute, but yeah, um, I played very mysterious yeah. characters and that was fun for me because I, I, uh, revealed too much, I think in my real life. <laughs> so that was a fun change. What did you get originally? Cause you said you only got like two pages. What did you get originally when the role the was scene, like, yeah, the scene, um, well, the, the character description was Peloton obsessed. <laughs> and I was like, wow. Um, wow. Okay. And more than, more than meets the eye type of description. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, 
so, but the scene, the audition scene was when I meet uh, Kristen Bell's Anna for the first time um, outside the house. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just, it was just one of those, hi, yeah. Hmm. Oh, you're cute, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, that was the audition scene, but I didn't know that chastity existed until yeah. after I got, I met with Michael and we, we talked about Lisa and he's like, Oh, did they tell you about how you're, you're like using, you know, old men for money. And I was like, I was like, no, but that's all right, Michael. It's, it's cool. We're here now. You can tell me now. And he's like, Oh, why don't they tell actors these things? And, um, Anyway, I was like, it's all good. And then, yeah, so then I got the scripts and there was a whole Chastity character and working with Benjamin was so fun. Our, I love Rex and Chastity together. Yeah. That was really, really a fun dynamic as well. Yeah, I have to, yeah. I have to admit, I had a little fangirl moment seeing you and Kristen on screen together. I was like, oh, those are my girls. Like I was so happy. I am gonna cry, you. <laughs> Oh my God. That's like, it's like a dream come true. She's, she's just magical. And, and I, I'm, I, that's like, honestly, the coolest thing you could have ever shared with me. So thank you. Oh, literally. Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> I was like, Oh, we're go We're going right now. We're getting, yeah. I didn't know really the trailer does not reveal much about your character. And yeah. I was like, how is she? And then I was like, Oh, she's interacting with Kristen. That's it. That's all I need to yes. know. Yes. My new I, dynamic. <laughs> yeah. It was, we really, um, it just felt alive, man. I don't know. Like it was, we just, everybody on it just knew what their role was and what they needed to do. And we just, we just played off of each other and it really, it felt seamless, at least for myself. Yeah. It felt pretty cool. Did you get, when you found out about Chastity, obviously, did you get all the scripts, like kind of like laying out her storyline or did you have time to kind of guess in between and be like, is this gonna happen? Like, am I gonna, you know, did you kind of try to put the pieces together in any way or you kind of got the layout? No, uh, the night before the table read, <laughs> they sent me all of the scripts. <laughs> and I was just like, what, <laughs> what, what? I'm acting like it was paper, it was online. So it was more like, what? what? <laughs> Literally the, on the screen, it's the same thing. <laughs> Who's chastity? <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was the gift that I kept on giving. So yeah, I, I got all of the, the the scripts the night before the table read. The table read was wild because it was on Zoom. It was my first Zoom table read. And wow. uh, it went really well though. You could tell they just, yeah, it just, I don't know. It was, it was a really cool experience. Yeah. Did you do any sort of preparation or maybe draw any inspiration from anywhere for, you know, playing these two characters? <laughs> because- <laughs> Well, let's start with the physical. So yeah. when a when a character description says Peloton obsessed, <laughs> I kind of took that as, oh, she's really fit. Yeah. Um, and I kind of treated her like almost like somebody who's like in the military. She's very she's a hustler. Yeah. She's very diligent. Yeah. She's not gonna get caught and she needs to be strong, she needs to be fast. Um, so I certainly picked up the exercising and building muscle for the next. I think I had a couple of weeks. Um, so I did that and let's see other kind of research. I, 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 I did a lot of research on, um, people who, uh, scam others like scam art. I did a lot of uh, research on scam artists. Yeah. Um, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> just you you like you learn as an actor you learn so much about so many different types of people and it's just so wild but I was just like I mean you know you just like reading about scam I'm like I hope people don't like go through my I hope I don't get hacked and people read the shit that I'm reading because like I swear it's for a role you know yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um but yeah uh that was another really fun thing to play like the um you know using men older men for money we had so many great um, older gentlemen that just played into it as well. And I hope felt safe around me. Um, yeah, that was a fun little storyline as well. Yeah, definitely. And I, as we discussed, obviously the cast in this yourself included is just amazing. So do you have a favorite like on set filming memory? I imagine that set was just like a blast <laughs> to be on. Oh, my favorite is this moment I had with Kristen, in the scene by the trash cans. 
Yes. Oh my. <laughs> I haven't seen it like you have, yeah. but I remember there was so much spoken without speaking. Yeah. And that for me is really rewarding. Yeah. Um, and we, we, Chris, we just kind of just felt it. We just, we really, uh, it was just working. Um, and that's always, that's always good. <laughs> and then Ben and I just had the funniest scenes to do. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> just like dumb and dumber. Like just, just, uh, I, I loved what they had us do. And then I just felt so, I just trusted who, we were working for and, and the, and what we were doing, the material, Rachel, Hugh and Larry. I mean, I'm just obsessed with their brains and their type of humor. Oh, I just remembered something else I researched. I did a lot of watching of like housewife shows and, you know, the bachelor and like bachelor in paradise. I don't know. There's just like something about, I decided that Lisa like watches a lot of reality shows to like yeah. find her like womanhood. Cause I feel like she's pretty tough naturally. Um, or maybe all this was just an excuse to watch, you know, quirky television, uh, uh, no reality show. Blame you. <laughs> but it was fun. Yeah. I'm a little jealous. That research sounds fun. Like, I feel like every time you get a new role, that's just an excuse to like go crazy on one subject. Kind of. If I'm honest. If I'm honest. I think that's what's happening. But yeah, no, the cast. I mean, I, I'm just, I was overwhelmed. Tom was amazing to work with. What a sweetie little... <sighs> so fun samsara uh she's so talented and so young yeah. she was precious um christina hilarious like everybody was just on point yeah yeah Absolutely. and i have to you know obviously we have your murder scene what, what was that like well to do a murder scene with michael layman is like i mean iconic <laughs> and bitch i was ready i've died you killed oh, it quite literally. <laughs> I've died a few times. So, but it was fun to add the satirical um, aspect to it. It wasn't just like a serious horror film, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so I really had a good time playing into that. And we definitely milked that. I feel like I did a lot of takes of that. Oh, God. Um, so much blood. I think that was one of the last things I did too. Um, yeah, my last night I left a bloody mess, um, which is like, it's iconic. I mean, with Michael, you, I mean, literally you're going out in the best way possible. You are yeah. literally leaving your mark. <laughs> it was, it was everywhere. Oh my God. Yeah, no, it, that, that was fun. Your fan base is just the most insane. They are so <laughs> like insane in the best way. And I'm part of it. So like, yeah, they're so cool. cool. I no, love they're it, so though. cool. They're so smart and like, oh yeah, cheeky and like some of the comments I'm like, guys, <laughs> my 10 year old niece cannot read this. <laughs> um, no, they're, they're amazing. Yeah. Oh my God, I love it. And they are excited about this as expected. What oh, are you most excited for them to see? I'm most excited for them to see Kristen Bell in this. I feel <laughs> like I've not seen her like this yeah. and I was I was, that, that was really exciting for me to see her in such a different role. Um, and like, even the marketing for this is hilarious. Like wine soaked entertainment, like they kill me. Yeah, Rachel and Larry kill me. Um, and then the title of the show and people not knowing originally if it was like a, a drama yeah, or like a, it was, yeah. yeah um, it's just so fun. I, it's just my type of, it's my vibe. Yeah. So and, I'm, I'm excited for them to see Kristen and, and just, just really enjoy the I'm excited for them to see everybody. I'm just excited for them to see the whole thing put together. I'm excited for me to see it. <laughs> I also like to be surprised too. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's, watch it has to be cool doing it when it comes out for the audience as well. Yeah. It's it's with them. yeah I don't love watching myself, but there's plenty of other people to watch in it, so. And you get, listen, I got to watch you like double because we got, <laughs> obviously, like, yeah. too hard, so it was perfect. Yeah, that was but cool. Amazing. And you got to just recently, obviously, when I'm talking to you, now it's going to come out later, but you got mm -hmm. to drop the trailer recently on your yeah. Instagram, too. Yeah. Like, what was it like seeing their reaction to that? Because you really are giving the first, like, little taste, because like you said, no one really knew where, where it was going to go. Yeah. And the trailer was fantastic. 
Yeah, it's so good. I just, I, I, yeah, I was just excited to put it out there. I mean, I, and, and I was excited to read that a lot of people were confused on the initial trailer. Like yeah. that, that's exactly like that's what, that's, it's just hilarious. <laughs> I think it's a little more clear now with, with yeah. the second one and like more marketing and uh, more information, but yeah, I was just excited to put it out there. I'm just really proud to be a part of this. Genuinely. I, I just, it's one of those things that just kind of like came and like hit me upside the head and I, I took it and knew how lucky I was to be there. And I was so happy to be there and I can't wait to see it all put together. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And also, you know, there's so many twists and turns. I felt <laughs> like I was literally, especially towards the end, every episode had you like guessing another thing. It's and dark and just, twisty. Oh yeah. And then they just throw it all away and make you think something else completely. Yes. What was your favorite twist? What was it, whether it's something you got to film or something you got to, you know, do at the table read or anything like that? What was your favorite? My first, the first thing that came to my mind was the fact that her ex-husband was her therapist. Yeah. Yeah. When that happened, I died. I was like, no, what? <laughs> That's so crossing a line. That is yep. so ridiculous. Um, I'm trying to remember that one killed me. Yeah. Uh, What's yours? That was a good one because that one came towards the end. But yeah. I have to admit when, you know, when we found out about Chastity, when he came in like to, you know, in the house with Kristen and was like, you know, trying to figure out what the heck was going on. I was like, the puzzle pieces were slowly clicking in my head, but nothing like could have prepared me for the montage we got. I was like, oh my gosh. Yes, I love that. I just remembered another fun thing on set that was my favorite, watching Benjamin do the freaking strip dance. Oh my God, amazing. He wore, I was like, not only is he cool, sweet, <laughs> obviously a beautiful human, great actor, now you can freaking dance. <laughs> and he did it like 10 times. I mean, it was, people didn't have to act excited and like we were just like what what it was it was honestly too much I couldn't handle it that's amazing yeah oh my great. gosh I can only imagine like yeah. oh another <laughs> plot twist I love was the ventriloquist Tom yes, Riley's oh she, my god she opens the <laughs> like th that's what I'm saying Rachel and and Hugh and Larry's brains my god no. it's literally much. and that's in the trailer like yeah. that when she yeah, opens the bag and they don't show obviously what's in it, but yeah. I was just, die I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. That is what I'm going to be saying in any interview about this show. Love it. That's what it is. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Oh my gosh. And I feel like at least, you know, the way I look at things when I'm watching TV and movies and tell me if you kind of do the same thing, but I kind of learn something from everything I watch. I don't know, the characters or the plot or just something always kind of clicks for me at the end. And I imagine as an actor, when you kind of do that as a project, some you might learn something or something might be a lesson to you. Did you have anything with this project that was kind of like that? I do. It's a little dark, but I think we can handle it. I wouldn't have ever shied away from it. Um, I thought a lot about vulnerable people mm -hmm. and especially people who are maybe, especially in the pandemic, home alone um, and not much to do. And they're on their computers and they're on Facebook and they're finding these maybe like-minded people or support groups. And then all of a sudden they wake up and they're in QAnon and they have no idea. And I have empathy for people who are finding themselves in these groups that aren't necessarily good for them or the world. Um, but that's what happens to vulnerable people. And Anna is vulnerable. She's dealing with grief. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, we know it, she winds up being sane in the end, mm -hmm. but uh, I definitely thought about vulnerable people and the things that you can get caught up in when, when you are that exposed and, and going through something like that. And I've, you know, I've, I've never joined QAnon. Um, but you know, I've been vulnerable before and maybe you've encountered people that you thought would be good for, you know, it's, yeah. it's just, um, I just have such a soft spot for 
vulnerability and grief. And um, so even though it's a dark comedy, mm -hmm. um, I really, my heart really, you know, bleeds for Anna's character. Yeah. I think that that's so important for you to say too, as well, because at least when I watch my shows, I know I don't always get to see the vulnerability, especially for female characters. Yeah. So it's really refreshing when we do get to see it in any genre, whether that's a dark comedy, a, dra a drama. A messy anything. vulnerability. Yeah. yeah. You see women real. all the time. I mean, I was the first eight years of my career, I was expected to be the actress in the scene that had to cry and the boy, you know, like, yeah. So we've seen, you know, tears, but mm -hmm. she's in a really, really dark spot. That was another crazy reveal that her yeah. daughter was dead and that she was still seeing her and talking to her. I mean, that's again, the gift that keeps on giving this mm -hmm. is, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I thought a lot about grief, mm -hmm. uh, which I think we all have experienced at this point. Um, and and what that can do to a, a very vulnerable person. That was another twist and a mystery that I was trying to guess was the daughter because they kind of showed the little hints towards it and they didn't, I was like, oh my gosh, what? There was so much, <laughs> I feel like it's so like, much. Yeah. Literally, that's how I was like, I'm gonna, I'll rewatch it because my family's like, oh, we're gonna, I'm like, I'll rewatch it with you because I feel like there's so much to unpack. I'm like, I'm invited to that one because I mean, I feel like you have the screeners, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Listen, listen, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta tell me what you think when you watch it. I'm gonna be so curious. You have yeah, to. Yeah. We'll do this stuff. again. We'll do this again in yeah. 20 days. Yeah. Oh my okay. gosh. Can you believe how, how are you feeling with it being this month coming out? <laughs> It's definitely something to look forward to, you know, in the new year, like it's, and it's early in the year. I, I'm not going to lie it. Um, and being in touch with Kristen and Rachel the last few months about it uh, has been um, really uplifting in such a weird time. And I'm just excited for people to laugh and maybe even cry, um, but mainly laugh. And yeah. I, I think it's really a good, amazing thing, you know, just to have something new, new television, new movies come out for people during this time, especially. Oh, I yeah. feel like with everything going on, it's always nice to have new media to get lost in. And I think a lot of people are going to be grateful to you, you and the team for, for giving us some entertainment right now. Yeah. Let's bring on the entertainment. Let's do more. Yeah, def <laughs> definitely. And lastly, I want to give you a fun little creative question. Because oh, the show God. is just so insane. Okay. If you could create your own tagline for either the series oh. or one of your characters or both of your characters, <sighs> what would it be? Oh my God. I don't know if this is appropriate. Go for it. <laughs> don't trust a hoe. <laughs> All right. I feel like I should leave. <laughs> Thank you for that ending. <laughs> I don't, by the way, I say ho with pride. L listen. For Lisa and Chastity. Mic drop. That was literally the mic drop right there. <laughs> yeah, good. Oh my gosh. Shelly, thank you so much. Thank this you. Was such a pleasure to do. So and fun meeting you. Congrats on everything. Oh, I think your you. stuff is amazing. Thank you for, thank for you. being here for us. Oh my, please. And trust me, I will be asking again to speak to you for your next project. Like I, I can't said, wait. I love you and your work. So it was really Thank such a, an honor and a pleasure and a great start to my new year. <laughs> Yay, me too. Thank, Thank you so you. much. All right, we'll talk soon.